Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back once again with the F11 Pro. Friends, I've got an upgrade inside for keeping the lens straight, and I've got a way to make it adjustable. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, I feel like I've been in this guy a hundred times, but let me show you again what we got. Uh, these two cables right here, I've got mine marked with a marker so I can easily put them back where they go. I'm going to pop them off super quick. You can do it with your fingernail, or if you got a little flathead screwdriver, that's a great way to do it as well. Once again, I've got mine marked with a little bit of white here and a little bit of white on the wire so I know which one goes where. Then I'm going to disconnect these. This one I will use my tiny little screwdriver. Let's me get in on those edges easier. Use a fingernail for the other one. All right. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing to pop out the server wire. Just a little pop. And then the camera module goes underneath just like that. So the first thing is to get the servo so it's aimed down. Then find your tiny Phillips screwdriver and take out those four screws inside. Let's adjust that clip speed so you don't have to watch me unscrew all these little screws. Make sure that's aimed down. I'm going to remind you again, this is the cable that I broke. So be very careful with that. It was an $80 new camera purchase. All right, so that's removed. Camera's aimed down. And then remember, we open up these arms so we can pull out our current lens holder. It's attached with a little servo wire. Now I push the servo back forward. Still making sure I don't mess with that cable. And that lets that pop out of there a little easier. And then the servo wire's just got that tiny dog leg that we pop out. So we can set the servo carriage away. Here's a better look at that little part. You can see it slides in. I've got a gap back here in the corner where the servo wire goes. And now we can pull this out. And I can pull out my lens. Remember, if you have trouble with your lens, you can use a lens cloth to push it back out from the lens forward. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one of these that makes modifications workable from the outside. All right, friends, so let me show you what we got here. This is designed in Tinkercad, and our lens simply slides through. And then the theory is we'll be able to rotate it out here to tighten it and focus it while it's still attached to the drone. Now, remember, we're being super careful with this little camera wire when we attach it we need it to not be able to move so I 3d printed this little bracket that goes around it and holds it in place so first I'm gonna push it in quite a ways and get this started sometimes threading them can be tricky so you want to make sure you have it straight so here I've got it lined up square with the hole I've got a special hole that keeps that in place and now we can twist this front lens without adjusting that cable at all. Threads in pretty darn easy. I don't know where the right spot is. I can't see it. And the beauty is this will totally be adjustable without that back wire twisting. All right, so with that attached, Let's add those little shock absorbers. Then find our mount. Make sure we've got it pushed so that the servo arm is out. So we've got more room to connect that little dog leg wire. Still being careful not to jostle that cable any more than we have to. I did open this hole up with a pin just a little bit. 3D printing a small piece like that, it's hard to get it perfect. Once you've got that in, you can bring the servo back up so it's easier to connect. If you can't get it with your fingernail, you can just use a little screwdriver to give it a little nudge. And then once you get it moving, it should move pretty darn easy. Then we can get this in place. One peg, two peg, 
you can test to make sure it rotates the way you'd expect. It is easier to insert when it's facing straight down. Make sure you get it on top of those pegs and then we can screw it in and we're ready for reconnecting. I've been lucky that my screws are staying right in the spot. If not, make sure you store them somewhere you can find them. Back in place, once again, just a quick test. Servo works like it's supposed to. Let's bring the drone over. I'm gonna slide this wire underneath. Find your markings. Remember I marked that one white and I marked this corner white so I know it goes over here. Make sure you've got a good connection. And once again on the other side, make sure you also have a good connection. Remember this servo wire connects over here on this side. And I find using a screwdriver for the edges makes it easier to line up. And then the camera wire connects on this side. Both of these connections are with the little wires up. If you're trying to figure out a way to memorize it. Let's carefully put her back together making sure we don't pinch any cables. Let's find that last little screw from the tray and button her back up. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, an adjustable non-fisheye lens for the F11 Pro. Friends, I'm going to put the test of this in another video so I can actually take it somewhere cooler than my front yard for that test. Of course, I'm going to put a link in the description if you're trying to find the lens, and I'll also upload the part to Thingiverse if you want to 3D print your own and make this mod as well. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.